That's better. Much better. Now go forward. Okay? You know, you can't build the Eiffel Tower in a day. You're working, with, you're working with wild animals when you're working with nerves. And it's true. Repetitious practice, you're able to develop a trained reflex pattern. But you first have the idea precedes your eventuality. You got to have that mental picture of the, the members of, of the body that's moving in what sequence and what degree. Okay? That's right. Now you shift to the right foot, didn't you? That's good. Now shift the other way. The bottom of my spine is coming to here. Now my navel is right over the arch. Now you're, you're coming inside your hips. You're, you're trying to pivot inside your hips, and I'm, I'm pivoting outside my hip. What are you doing? Move, move, move. Hell no! You're turning! You're, look here. You're doing a posterior rotation of the right cheek. Posterior rotation. Can't you see what I'm doing here? Look at how I'm putting my hips over here, and I keep my head there. I, my spine is slanted this way instead of this way. And it tell me, hell, you're turning your foot. Look here. Look here. Can't you do this? Look here. How my, hey, you turn this way and you hold this way. You you all turn with it. Level. Look here. My, my belt isn't turning this way. It's turning this way. Yeah, that way. Now, feel how that drops. Don't try to turn your hips. The turn of the hips come from the wind up of these spinae erecti muscles, okay? Hell no, you didn't shift. Yeah, look here, let me show what you did. Shift over here. No. Stand on top of me with this crippled foot, I'll hold you and eat both up, just like that. Well, how in the hell can you hold somebody up that way? moving against your right hip. Look, that's what I want you can. You're going to have to work like a slug until you learn to shift. You can't hold your head still unless you move your damn hips. Do this way and your head goes that way. Do this way and your head stays here. And that hip over there, I want the slug bitch and hip to come underneath the navel. Look at this. I'm bringing my right left hip underneath here. See? And you're keeping your seat going this way. You understand? You're trying to keep your weight on your left foot and get to the right. You can't eat the cake and still have it. You've got to digest it. No, I don't want your head over there and your ass over here. I want your ass over there and your head over here. Okay. Okay. Let it come in. You see what I've done? Look at your belly buttons right over your arch, isn't it? Right. Oh, well. Okay. Huh? Okay. Try it again. So what, what you you're not moving this. This thing is standing right here. You're keeping the left hip the same height it is when you dress the ball. It's got to go down about, look at that, my left hip. You're, you're keeping this hip here. You ain't doing a damn thing but turning around here on the level position of your, your hips. Mine are tilting. Can you see? My shoulders are tilting, my hips are tilting. You're trying to do this, and you're, you're trying to keep your, your hips level. They have to tilt. Get a move on. Let me do something to you. Back. Let me do something to you. Now, you don't do a damn thing. Let me do it. Okay. Okay. Keep your head on the center line. Okay. There. Now, hold it right there. I want to show you what to do. Okay. Now, I want you to wind this muscle. Okay, your head didn't drop. Mm -hmm. Now, shift. Straight ahead. Now, wind up that muscle. That's way. That's right. You've got to practice that. If, you see, you've got to know, work against what you've been ingraining. Mm -hmm. See, you've ingrained a posterior. This is a posterior rotation of the right hip, and it keeps your left hip here, and they're, they're like that. Now, when you move this way, this is dropping. Your head doesn't drop. Your shoulder turns down. Okay. You see, I'm not getting here and turning my shoulders like that. I'm coming underneath. I'm coming underneath. Oh, wow. Oh, isn't that wild? That feels so different. <laughs> <laughs>
anybody teach me any other way than that. No. I drunk it. Oh. Keep the belly button and your right hip going. Keep the hip right. Now you kept your belly button going, and that's right. Your head didn't rise. You stop your belly button, you're dead. Now that belly button is the center of lucky of, of the motivating forces. You have a, a thing that comes from the this is a publess bone up to the eighth. And that's a V. Yeah. Okay? You got it coming from the sternum bone down to the coupot ligament. And now that's an A. Okay. Now to to make it move this way you use one half of this and one half of that. And then the transverse is a muscle like a belt going around here. Those are the forces that you have to keep going.